Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET.Core and today I am going to uh, teach you about uh, clean architecture with CQRS pattern. You know, uh, much more popular uh, clean architecture. If you have a CQRS pattern, I mean to say that uh, command query responsibility segregation, uh, if you need uh, this types of project setup, then uh, just join my membership actually because uh, Okay, uh, so before going too much more de detail, I want to tell you about my membership. So this is my membership program and uh, in this membership program, I am uh, I will give you video tutorial on .NET Core. Uh, I mean to say a beginning to professional video tutorials on .NET Core, Dapper, REST API, Angular, Entity Framework Core, MS Test Unit, .NET Blazor, Unit Testing. Unit testing, MS test units, HTML, jQuery, and CSS SQL Server and React based. So, uh, in just only 800 rupees. The old tutorials actually uh, related to the project based tutorials on .NET Core, project based tutorial on Dapper, REST API, Angular. Okay, so only one time fees uh, you can pay um, that is 800 rupees for the Indian users and $1.15 for other country users. It's too much cheapest, you know. Uh, I will provide you fully .NET Core based tutorials and all these technologies covered in just 800 rupees. Uh, I I know uh, you can't believe on me, but but believe me, I will provide you day by day video tutorials on .NET Core, Dapper, REST API, and professional video tutorial. I will provide you professional. I mean to say that. Uh, beginning to advanced level i will covered uh, uh, in just 800 rupees or dollar 15. if you want to join this membership just fill the google form and the form link uh, is available in in this video description box okay so if you uh, if you want to join this membership just fill this form hurry up guys because uh, it's a deal you know so uh, if you want to uh, get the deal just fill the form only and you get unlimited uh, videos i mean to say that only uh, unlimited i mean to say uh .NET core zero to hero video tutorials beginning to advanced video tutorials zero to hero tutorials on dapper and project based tutorials i will provide you minimum two projects in each technologies so approximate uh 200 uh 250 hours, I mean to say that 250 hours, how, uh, how I will cover all these technology videos and uh, it's continue for the further. So uh, don't miss it. I, I think it's uh, you, if you want to, uh, if you want to get some more knowledge, uh, so must to join this membership. Okay. So if you want to join this membership, just fill this form like a uh, full stack web, web development course, your name, your email ID, your contact number, transaction reference ID or order ID or PayPal ID. If you are belong from uh, India, just pay using pay, uh, UPI IDs uh, on this QR code, uh, just 800 rupees. And if you are belong uh, to other countries like uh, US, UK and Australia, so just pay by using PayPal. Okay, this is my PayPal ID. And how uh, just you can you can see uh, the curriculum of this course so this is my uh, course curriculum you can see uh, the first start from the ASP.NET Core and uh, ASP.NET Core MVC and uh, it's a you know it's only a topic uh, it's not actually described here uh, described in a video session and uh, I will provide you complete video to uh, video video tutorials and the source code and the resource material i mean to say the pdf docs and all so the relationships validation session reusable components theme page utility generic repository unit of work identity data seeding prototype and i, I will design you and i will send you uh, two projects in asp.net core first okay so now then start rest api tutorials what is wcf soa rest create asp.net web api project configuration attribute routing Test API in Swagger and Postman and all you can see here we have you can see and the next is the angular based course I will provide you this is my angular course okay and just after that I will provide you C sharp beginning to advance uh, video tutorials like link threading 
generic and events, creating connection database. Just after that, I will start a DSA data structured based course. And that just after that, uh, signal R, okay. And it is a bootstrap course curriculum. And just after that, JavaScript, that is such years. And after that, I will start a Blazor course, you, you can see. So it's this is my a, a curriculum and I will provide you more and more video tutorials and the completed source code day by day. Okay. Uh, if you want to get more code and more knowledge, just uh, subscribe or you can say just purchase my membership just only 800 rupees for the Indian user and dollar fifteen for the other. Okay. So this is my uh, clean architecture and in the clean architecture, you know, uh, here we have four layer that is the domain layer. I mean to say that this is the core layer of the project and in this pro uh, in this layer just uh, uh, you know uh, we have some uh, new directories like abstractions entities exceptions and primitives so the first one uh, to go for the focus on entities actually because uh, each entity actually related to the domain and the uh, very most interesting point for the domain layer is do not contain any references okay so you can see in the dependencies, there is a no any references of other layer like application layer, uh, infrastructure and presentation layer. Okay, so uh, the first one is the entities. So here we have a concert entity and that concert entity is actually inherited with the entity class that is the base type of entity class and this is available in the primitives. So you can see in the primitives where we have a GUID, ID types of primitives and just get a protected set. Okay, now you know that what is inside in the abstractions. So uh, that is the clean architecture with CQRS pattern. So here we have a abstractions layer, I concert repository and I unit of work. So you can just design it with this project setup. So I concert repository here we have a use cases, uh, which is related to your uh, concert. So get by ID, get all async, uh, add async, update async and delete all sync. Okay. And you have a exception details like a concert not found exception. So here we have the exception uh, that is inherited with the exception and uh, you know exception not found. So concert not found like that. Okay, so uh, here we have the obsession entities and exception and, and all. Now the next task is to application layer. In application layer also we design actually use cases but uh, just I'm using here that is the uh, CQRS pattern. So in the abstraction uh, behavior and concerts, so just go for the concert first because in the concert we have two things that is the command and the query. So in the command we just uh, get uh, three things that is uh, create, delete and update, you know. So command it's related to the update operations, uh, DML operations and the query is related to your DDL, uh, DQL operations. So get all concert and get concert. So during the create concert, we have three things. The first one is create concert command, create concert command handler, and the next one is create concert command validator. So the first one is create concert command. And what is the create concert command? I mean to say that I want to create a new concert so that we uh, just implement it with the I request of that type of concert. I want to uh, implement, I want to design a new concert so use I request and I request is actually available in media tar package. So here we have a I request concert. So I want to put uh, two things that is a name and the date. So create concert command is here. And the next one is handler. Create concert command handler. And what is the handler? Actually handler is implemented from I request handler. And you know I request handler is what? I handler requ I request handler. And you know that create concert command is what? Create concert command is uh, implemented by I request of the concert. And create concert command handler is what? That is I request handler. Okay. And in which you can just add a create command, create concert command that is above. So you can just use I request also. And here we go for the concert which is you want to uh, add. Okay. So if you want to add concert, just use two things that is I concert repository as well as I unit of work. So you can just implement both in the constructor as well. And the next one is to use uh, a handle. You can say here we have a handle method 
and inside the handle method we have a create concert command like that create concert command so in the handle method you just add a create concert command like that create concert command with the request okay so by using the request you know we have two things that is name and id so in the create concert command we have two things go to definition again and here we have a name and date okay so uh, just use uh, new concert new concert guid dot new guid that is the id property uh, request dot name request dot date okay by using the request you just pick the i request data i create concert uh, create concert command data okay now uh, after that you can just use concert repository dot add and you know work dot complete async okay that's final that's the thing you can just do okay so concert repository dot add is what is the concert repository you can see here we have a concert repository so what is the concert repository that is available in the infrastructure part so here we go for the uh, written concert okay so here we go for the uh, also we have a validation also on the create uh, create uh, concert command validator and that is inherited by the abstract validator of the create concert command and inside it we just check a rule is x name date not empty and greater than date type dot name this is the validator only okay so in the repository part that is the infrastructure layer so it's a data access layer you know so the application db context and the repository and concert repository is implemented by i concert repository so that you can just use it here okay you know very well about uh, uh, concert repository and data access layer so in the presentation layer we use media dart so in the controller section just use concert controller and here we go for i media i media dart and by using the media dart dot send the command actually so here we go for create concert command like that okay so create concert command is command uh, and here we have a command we have two data you know the first one is what that is the name and the that is the date so media tar dot send the command and just convert it uh, here we go for the concert you know it's a concert so concert just convert it into the dto and get the concert okay so that is the uh, that is the project setup if you want to uh, get more projects on this implementation part just subscribe my membership and uh, you know you get more knowledge thank you very much for watching this